Okay, what teacher am I with here today? Uh, today you're going to be talking with Mr. Cruz about art class and you know, what the expectations and, and the structure of the class will be like for the incoming seventh graders. Uh, well, what could the incoming seventh graders expect? Um, it's not a lot different from what they do at the elementary school. Uh, the expectations are kind of the same. Be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. If we're doing those things, everything kind of falls together. Uh, the class is pretty quick. It's only a quarter long, so only nine weeks. And you do a little bit of everything. You start out with a week of clay, making a couple of different clay projects. And we move on to uh, self-portrait. You do a landscape painting like you did when you were first grade if you did that painting with me, um, I was your elementary art teacher, and then we do a glitch, effect, drawing, and examples of some of the work that some of the kids have done this year, and that I've done are like landscape painting, and our portraits that they did, and a lot of different stuff. I don't have any examples of the glitches, but they usually turn out pretty cool as well. Uh, it's really fast and fun class. Uh, well, but would you recommend them after seventh grade to take art class throughout high school still? Yeah, so in seventh grade it's not an option. Every seventh grader has the quarter class for art, but then they you don't you won't get any art again until you choose it in ninth grade. So uh, try to show a wide variety of projects and materials during your time with me in seventh grade so that you think about and hopefully return in ninth grade. Uh, what would you say is probably one of the more fun projects to do and when you're teaching seventh grade? I think the thing that the kids enjoy the most is probably the ceramic projects. You start out by watching a video about Japanese culture and the Japanese tea ceremony and making chaiwan, which are like little pinch pots with uh, a little foot on the bottom so that you can drink tea. And then we also make another footed tray and then we have time to buy the pottery wheel and you can make as many things as you can get done in that one week. Alright, well, thank you for your time. No problem. Good, good looking forward to seeing you guys here in seventh grade and good luck. So turn in your homework and don't get in trouble. Is there anything else? Don't take my teachers that, that you don't know. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Um, don't disrespect your teachers. Uh, respect the teachers, don't talk bad. That's yeah, pretty much it.